Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are. May Almighty God bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. I just want to talk to you today about focusing on the promises, not the problem. What we focus on, we magnify. We are not changing its actual size. We are simply making it bigger in our own mind. And if you stay focused on your problems or on a negative medical report or what somebody said about you or how you will never get out of debt, all that is going to do is to make it bigger than it really is. It's changing it at all times and you will continue thinking about that. And you may have some things you don't like some things you consider are wrong with you you will do but can i tell you that there is a lot right with you quit magnifying what is wrong quit focusing on what you don't like and start focusing on what god said about you god said you are a masterpiece he said you are a fearfully and wonderfully made he said you are one of a kind you have the right looks the right personality, the gift that you need for the race that he has designed for you. Magnify what is right about you and not what is wrong. If you were to get a negative medical report, you could go home, go and check everything about it, but just keep it and look on to God and pray because only God can solve all these problems. My message today is very simple. Stop focusing on the problems and start focused on the promises of God. All through the day, instead of complaining, God, you said with long life, you will satisfy me. You said the number of my days you will fulfill, that I will live and not die, that you are restoring health back to me. Remember, it takes the same amount of energy to believe as it does to worry you can go through the day thinking thinking about prices of things are very high very expensive now i don't know how i will ever be able to send my kids to college these are the things you think and this thing bring high blood pressure sickness to you some of you will be thinking what if I don't get promotion? What if I don't get the scholarship? What if I lose this client? I don't know how I'm going to make it. Please, stop worrying about those things. Look unto God. When you magnify the promises instead of the problems, that's your faith being released. That's what allows God to go to work. Maybe you are concerned about your children. You could go around thinking, I don't know if they are ever going to get back on the right path. No, don't think like that. God gave you those children and God Almighty will take good care of them. If you will change your focus from problem to the promise, worry will leave, doubt, fear, negativity will go, faith will rise up. You will know that God is still on the throne. He's bigger than anything you're facing, and what he promised, he will bring to pass. If you are single and you want to get married, don't go around thinking, I will never meet the right person. I'm too old. I missed too many opportunities who told you that. It's never going to happen. No, turn it around. God, you said because I delight myself in you, you will give me the desires of my heart. Lord, you said no good thing will you withhold because I walk uprightly. And Lord, I want to thank you that my good thing is coming in. That man, that woman that you have already picked out for me. It's just a matter of time. Do not worry yourself. Whatever you're believing for, instead of magnifying the negative, instead of worrying, find a promise that you can stand on. And all through the day, let that play in your mind. God, you said you hold victory in store for the upright. You said your favor surrounds me like a shield. 
you said the path of the righteous gets brighter and brighter okay the reason it's so important to have a promise that you can focus on is because God is not obligated to bring to pass what we say. But he's obligated to bring to pass what he says. And when you can say, God, you said I will prosper and live in good health. God, you said you will always cause me to triumph. God, you said my later days will be better than my former days. When God hears his promises coming out of your mouth, he says to the angels, go to work, get busy, make it happen. Hallelujah. At that time, you rejoice and leave everything in the hand of the Lord. He will make a way. See, let us just say something about Abraham. When God gave him the promise that he and his wife Sarah we are going to have a baby. They were both way too old in the natural, but Romans chapter 4 says, Abraham considered not the weakness of his own body, nor the deadness of Sarah's womb. In other words, he didn't go around thinking, well, God gave me this promise, but I must not have had him right because Sarah is nearly 80 years old. It's not going to happen don't think like that he didn't get on the internet and google chances of having a baby at 100 he didn't call his friends and get their input to see what they thought if you would have stayed that impossibility would have become so magnified gotten so big in his mind that doubt fear negativity would have kept it from happening god works where there is faith your faith matters in everything you're doing in everything you want god to do for you always believe trust go to the word of god god does not change his promises whatever he promised you he would do he would do it for you praise the lord hallelujah thank you for listening to this video may you be blessed in jesus name Amen.